What's up guys, XJMXJM here, and today I am bringing you a commentary, a little update commentary, because I was kicked from Soar. Now, before I get into that, I have a Octane TDM gameplay, I think I get like 47 kills, knife only of course. I also want to apologize for this mic, I am getting a new one, but just shopping around between, I think there's the Razer and then the yeti haven't decided on which one i'm gonna go with if i do go with the razor which is everyone is telling me to i will have to wait a couple weeks because it's not even in stock online because of canada and all that so for the meantime you'll just have to bear with this mic i know it's not the greatest but it'll just have to get the job done now i assume you guys came here not to hear about my mic selection choices but to hear why and how I got kicked from SOAR. Now, for those of you who are really unaware, back in the beginning of December, I was recruited to SOAR. I was one of their Advanced Warfare RC winners. I happened to do really good right off the bat in Advanced Warfare. General noticed, picked me up from the RC, and yeah. The support I got was unreal. Like, never did I think I could get that far, especially knifing. I always imagined I'd get farther editing rather than knifing but you can't deny that knifing is getting bigger like even now we have iced in phase and ninja in red when a year ago the biggest team of knifer was in was xjmx but anyways being in swore was really fun for around a month i stopped focusing on editing and mainly focused on playing and of course leading xjmx this led up to january when things started to change now i don't know how many of you guys are aware of what's happening within the sniping community on twitter or whether you guys even care either way it was pretty obvious if you were on twitter and such that there was a sort of tension between the two teams, kind of like a rivalry in a way. People were just jumping back and forth between the teams. So during one point, Mac, who was the former leader of Soar, who was leading right at the time, went back to Soar to lead, and General, who was leading Soar at the time, went to Red, which evidently changed the outcome in why I was eventually kicked. I was recruited by General because he did see that knifing was getting bigger and Knifers were getting into bigger teams, and change was necessarily not a bad thing. Now, Mac didn't necessarily agree to that extent. He believed that the Soar subscribers didn't actually want to see any knifing at all, and would rather just watch the classic sniping and trickshotting episodes, montages, sort of videos that the Soar channel had always been uploading for basically as long as the channel existed. Now, Mac had a pretty strong opinion of this, and... This past Friday, Wizpa and him got into a chat and added me and ultimately kicked me from the team. Now, honestly, I see where they were coming from. My episode, which went up on the beginning of the month, it got a lot of likes, but it also got a lot of dislikes. There was a lot of talk that it was dislike-botted and a lot of theories and rumors on why that might be. But regardless from that, it would have gotten a lot of dislikes anyways because it was the first knifing episode on a forever sniping team. Now, I'm not saying change should be forced upon the teams, but regardless if there was a dislike bot or not, there still would have been some dislikes, a lot of dislikes, because it was a change. Not because of the clips or because of the edit, but because it was knifing and it was different from what they're used to. Now, this didn't discourage me in any way. I still knife and I always will because I find it fun. Ultimately, knifing will always bring hate because it is something new, and bringing something new to the table isn't always what people want to see. But at the same time, knifing is almost original in the sniping community, basically different than the sniping and trickshotting episodes, and I don't think it should just be abandoned just because one video gets dislikes. Now, I was kicked on Friday evening. I was actually working at the time, so I found out on my break over Twitter when one of the SOAR members tweeted a picture of me getting kicked from the chat and asked what happened. I honestly had no clue until I, later that night once I got home, but I did know that on Twitter, the knifing community blew up. The support I got was insane. Like, I got more support when I was kicked than when I joined. I cannot thank you guys enough for how much support you've sh shown me over the past couple months. With that though, I don't want you guys going hating on Soar or Mac or any of that because their decision to kick me was solely based on what they thought their subscribers wanted to see. Obviously, the respect I once had for them has gone down quite a bit, 
but that doesn't mean I'm gonna go hate on their videos or any of that because of what happened. Now, on a side note, I do want to thank Iced because without him, my name wouldn't be anywhere near where it is today. He basically put me on the map, so to speak. I cannot thank him enough, and really, there is no doubt in my mind that without question, he was the best knifer for FaZe. I'm so happy for him, and I can't wait to see what he can do in the future. Now, as well, I want to thank General because without him, I wouldn't have even had the opportunity to be in Soar. He gave me a chance and I cannot thank him enough for the opportunity, even though it didn't last as long as I hoped for. Now, whether that's the end of the line for me and sniping teams, I hope not. Of course, I'm still leading XJMX and I'm still playing and I'm even thinking about getting back into editing, if you can believe it, but that still hasn't been decided. I mainly am just focusing on having fun and enjoying myself right now. I do, however, want to start uploading more. I know I say that in literally every commentary I do that I'm going to be like, oh, I'm starting uploading more. Yeah, I'm going to upload more. And it never happens. But I do want to start, like I said, I'm getting a new mic for commentaries. I'm going to start doing some roads for my channel. And I have like five quests I am editing as well as a butter knives that's ready to be uploaded as well so definitely be on the lookout for some uploads for me really soon once I can simply get into the grind of making these videos then it just won't be as inconsistent as it always has been before I just gotta get right down into it motivate myself and see where it brings us now that wraps up the commentary I pretty sure I covered 90% of it and that's what I was going for. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and comment on what you thought. Thank you guys for watching, this has been XJMX Jam, and as always, jam out.